to be able to service all those ladies that are going to be feeling themselves here. That didn't sound good. Thank you for being her wingman. Here's my girl. Are you going to have babies? Nothing says Friday like that pose. Billy, she said no. Billy's in love. William's in love. They're, they're fast and they're furious. I'm sure whoever made that movie didn't have sheep farming in mind. Good morning. I have my helper back again today, so I was not even going to attempt to do this job solo. Uh, we are, today we're pulling out cedars out of this next group to get bread here. They'll be bred for 21 days and hopefully they will create some June babies for me. So we're going to divide everything into four groups. I have a ewe lamb group. They were my ewe lambs from, from March of this past year, 2021. The other three groups will be mature ewes. Uh, they will be put with certain rams. Uh, the other day I went through and put everything on my Gallagher. So hopefully when I scan the tag, it'll say what I want them bred to. Um, so that part should be okay. Chris is mixing up the Folagon. So Folagon, all that is, is it releases the, it, it helps the ewes ovulate. Uh, so I synchronize them. I put a cedar in them 13 days ago today. And uh, all that did was kind of try to synchronize their estrus or their cycle. So when I pull that out, uh, they should, in theory, all come into heat within 24, 36 hours from now. And then you have to have enough rams to be able to service all those ladies that are going to be feeling themselves here. That didn't sound good. <laughs> who are all going to be in the mood uh, all at the same time. So I, I've always typically aimed for five use for every ram. But over the last year or so, I've kind of just actually made it a little less than that. So even maybe around... Uh, four use per ram just to help with those numbers. Okay, I'm just going to show you quick how we take out a cedar. So there's the tail. And literally, you just take that, pull gently. And we toss ours. Uh, some farmers wash those up and put them in a paper bag and, and store them at a in a dark, cool place. And I think you can reuse them. I just don't take any chances. I don't reuse mine, right or wrong. Okay. There, that one's done. And we're just gonna go along and do all these. Easier to do in the squeeze. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for being her wingman. All right, I'll keep going here. Hands free. This one actually won't have one either, will she? Because <laughs> she's in the other group. So, so for the PMSG, you kind of got to go by your used body weight. Uh, so I am giving them a two and a half mil dose for these ladies. Yeah, we'll scan. Yeah, when I go, because we have to paint them. Oh, yeah. And that'll keep my full concentration. Do I 
I'll give you guys here a few. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I said Billy was purple? Yeah. Purple. Next! <laughs> Old boys are red? No. <laughs> yeah? Red. Do you want my tool belt? <laughs> it's awesome. I need a good hand. Okay. Once we get it to here, it's like, we're only doing one at a time. Let's see. And that one is purple. <laughs> we'll download you soon. And that one is red. And we'll let, we'll let these guys out. So what Chris is doing here is instead of a marking harness, because I have 30 some odd rams to put a marking harness on and maintain, I don't do that. I actually mark the back end of a U and hopefully they will just rub it off. And uh, that seems to work good enough. It's not 100%, but honestly, that's why I scan. It's not a huge deal. It's just peace of mind for me to see if they've actually been mounted or not. All right, this is the tricky part. Billy's will go this way, red will go straight. Billy. I'm not sure if I was filling that. Oh. We are, um, we're sorting the rams now and they're all marked with a paint dot on their neck as to which use they are matched with. All right, so we're gonna move red and purple and the other guys are gonna go over here. That's all we can do, red. Red, green, green purple, purple, purple. Red.
like, I like, I know. No, it's good. It's good, you stop. Red. I can't tell if my face is dirty or my camera is dirty. I think it's a little bit of both. I finished power washing my telehandler because she needs a service next week. All right, so this morning we did finish and sort out four really nice sized breeding groups here. Mature ewes are in three of them and then my ewe lambs are in the far back one. And they've got lots of room and I just thought I'd top up. This was the ram pen and the ram pen was always the wettest for whatever reason. So I just thought I'd throw some straw on that pen and dry it up a bit for these ladies, our queens. But not a whole lot of action on the first day. Typically, probably when I come in here, um, probably by noon tomorrow, we might see a little more action this beginning of the first ones in heat. Uh, there was one lucky lady today that was playing hard to get but uh, the rams are convinced she's in heat, so there is a little bit of running around, but I think she outsmarted them for the most part. <laughs> I think she just lays down. It's gonna be a lot of you commenting over the next 21 days that my rams don't have a lot of wool. Uh, some of them do, some of them are completely still fleeced, uh, and the other ones are, like these steel rams are bald. And uh, I was talking to Rebecca yesterday, she said she's seen a lot of lice this year on the animals and I did run out of lice treatment on my last shearing. So she may have something there. I have it on the list to get some before Charlie comes next. That will be the next thing on the list is to get him to come and shear all the ones that were scanned pregnant yesterday. Uh, I'll probably be doing that in the next couple weeks if I can get him. I know some of my ewes in the lactating pen are losing wool, but even, even some of these ones that are bred, like completely losing their wool. So uh, sometimes it's nutrition, sometimes it's uh, health. I think it kind of coincides with the fever, but I'm not 100% on that. So anyway, I'm well aware that, uh, that, that I've got some balding animals, so I'll save you guys from having to tell me that. Yeah, not too much action yet. Billy. Billy. Hi. Lucky, save it. No. Quite yet there, William. <laughs> Edward? What are you saying? What are you saying? Mm -hmm. Hanging out with the bros. Hey. These are the ewe lambs. They were born uh, last March. That was my March group. I think there's 44. I believe that makes them 10 months old. Uh, which puts them lambing at 15 months of age if they catch. And typically the catch, the conceptions are usually good in January, uh, but the last couple years they haven't been. So I'm hoping that 2022 is the turning of the tide and we'll have a better, more normal January catch because April doesn't tend to be much better. That's fast, little lady. I had a couple 
minutes to spare, so I thought I would go over yesterday's video. Uh, if you have some burning questions that you want to ask, put them in the comments, and then if there's if there's questions someone's already asked that you would like to know the answer to as well, uh, like their comment or their question, and hopefully they will float to the top. Uh, so let's look at yesterday's video. Okay, I will read this one. This one's from Vivian Winford. Has anyone else noticed Sandy's up to 499k subscribers? We need to push her to half a million mark. Sandy is an inspiration to all of us with her upbeat personality, upbeat, per cheerful personality. Love all she does to care for her sheep and lambs. Vivian, thank you for that. We did surpass 500,000. Yeah, 500,000 people is uh, crazy. Never thought I'd ever get to that point. It has been a lot of work and I, I'm not sure if people really, I don't really talk about this side as much as I'd really like to. I've learned so much. Besides sheep farming, I mean, I've been teaching myself how to do this. And uh, this is very time consuming and it consumes, it consumes a lot of my days out here because I've got to take this thing with me, this being my camera. Um, and also take this with me because I'm trying to kind of satisfy some other platforms. Um, and then I edit and read comments and research the craft. So I go on YouTube and I see, you know, what should I improve on equipment? What should I improve as a, as a content creator? So it is very time consuming. So I, I do really, truly appreciate you guys are here. That was the big thing that happened yesterday and a huge milestone for me, my family, everybody that's put up with me. There's been people that watch this video from day one and I just so appreciate you being here. I forgot to come back on here yesterday after I got back from uh, shipping those sheep and uh, some of the ewes I took out of Cinnamon's group. So I was having a bit of a heart attack because I didn't actually, I scanned all their numbers but I didn't quickly check to make sure she wasn't one of them. Thankfully, both her and Kinky are pregnant and they're both having twins where is cinnamon is that you honey cinnamon there you coming to say hi you and, you and kiki there's my girl are you gonna have babies are you finally a little mama <laughs> I had a bit of a heart attack yesterday, but it's all good. <laughs> Still a sweet pea. Good afternoon guys, it's Friday. This lamb kills me. Like, nothing says Friday like that pose. You are so cute. All right, well, um, I wanted to check in here and see how my boys and my girls were getting along. A um, lot, of, lot of jumping. Excuse me. Oh. Or sit. Here we go. Good oh boy. Billy, Billy's going. Billy, she said no. Or sit. Hard to get that one. Yeah. 
Billy's in love. Billy! Billy means business! Oh, good boy. Oh, Dorset. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's another one. Oh, read over there. Jeez, rabbits. Jeez, Billy. Holy, this is the most action I have ever seen this boy perform. Good boy. Oh, let's see how Team Red's doing. Apparently pretty good. She has like no paint on her compared to... Wow. You boys have been busy. William. William's in love. <laughs> oh no, William. What's Baldy doing here? Jeez. How do you know where to point this camera? Okay. Guys. She's just standing there. No problem. Thank you, next. There you go. Okay, well, um, apparently the cedars are doing their job because uh, we've got a lot of commotion going on around here. Yeah, trying to figure out how I'm going to be creative with YouTube on this one, as I have to on every breeding group, but... I find this part so entertaining. Maybe I'm disgusting. I don't know. They're just funny. They're they're fast and they're furious. I will say that. I'm sure whoever made that movie didn't have sheep farming in mind when they came up with that title, but it's it's true. So yeah, it doesn't take them long. This is what I was told about sheep. They have a quick eject button. <laughs> Their solution is quite dense. There's a lot of buck for their bang. Every bit of solution is very highly concentrated, uh, so it doesn't take them long, and it doesn't take a lot uh, to create a final product. <laughs> a lot of people think I artificially inseminate my sheep when they only watch one tiny little video. Um, I do not, actually. With sheep, it's a little more in-depth than that. Uh, most sheep farmers, if they do AI, uh, it's done surgically, and uh, I just, I am not in the business of that, so I rely on, I rely on the boys doing their job. So uh, yeah, so male, you know, maintaining these rams is very important. Feeding them well is, is important. Hoof trimming, shearing, all that stuff. Shearing usually gets done, don't mind me, before their summer breed to keep them cool. Um, and obviously in the winter they don't need done because they're shedding or eating each other's wool, I'm not really sure, but half of them are bald. Um, which is just really great as we get into some really deep deep freezes again But I think they're gonna keep warm So I'm not sure if I said yesterday, but these boys will be in with these girls for 21 days They cycle every 17 days, so I typically get, I typically give them 21 just to make sure they get those extra few days at the end of their cycle of their second cycle Yeah, we'll see how they do Billy that was a fight He is aggressive this time around. Wow. Don't mess with Billy. 